Now, you can already tell a computer what to do, thanks to the latest in voice recognition. But what if they could answer back? Technology companies say they are now building systems which can hold a proper conversation with a human being. But the kit has a long way to go before it can create a truly thinking computer, as our technology correspondent Benjamin Cohen has found out. Technology you can have a conversation with. Hey! Devin's calling, Michael, and if you ask me, not a moment too soon. Oh. It's something we've been promised for decades in films and TV series like Knight Rider, artificial intelligence that really is intelligent. Technology companies now claim to make products that understand not just the words we say, but the meaning behind them. But does it work in the real world, outside of the glossy adverts? To put it to the test, I try to spend a day just speaking to my shiny new gadgets. So I'm going to start with the iPhone 4S, which has a piece of technology on it called Siri. I'm going to speak to it and ask it what I've got on. What am I doing today? You have a couple of meetings for today. OK, so the first thing I've got to do is to meet my producer, Jeff White, uh, for lunch at the French Institute in Kensington. How do I get to the French Institute in Kensington? Sorry, Benjamin. I can only look for businesses, maps and traffic in the United States. So the iPhone isn't going to be able to help me because its voice recognition system, Siri, doesn't have any maps or addresses in the United Kingdom. So I'm going to try this, the new Windows phone. I'm going to ask it the same question. French Institute. And it sent me to a place called Edwards, which is in Colorado in the United States. I think it's back to the old fashioned methods. But it turns out my producers stood me up and I'm here in a French restaurant. I speak barely any French and I'm pretty picky about what I eat. But luckily there's a new Google Android phone that claims it understands my voice so well it can translate what I'm saying in English into French. Bonjour. Uh, do you serve vegan food? Oui, nous avons des salades. Ah, merci beaucoup. So exactly what my phone asked for. No meat, no milk, a totally vegan meal. So, how is voice going to start changing the way that technology is working? Well, it's becoming more and more common for to see people walking in the streets and seeing them talking to their phones. Ten years ago, you'd have thought people were a bit crazy, but now it's actually becoming really standard. People are getting their phones, and without installing anything, they can talk to them and get an answer back. And it's not just our phones we can talk to. In my house, I can talk to my television. That's because it's plugged into a Microsoft Xbox Connect Games console, which can now understand Xbox your voice too, and will soon give access to programmes from a number of broadcasters, including Channel 4. Xbox. Play. My field test of phones and my TV showed that voice recognition works, sort of. It's clearly got a long way to go, and those behind it admit it's not the only way we're going to engage with technology. You can't do everything with a single form of interaction. In the same way that in our lives, you know, we don't just talk to people. We use all sorts of mechanisms and tools to communicate. And our vision is to really support, you know, multimodal, you know, different kinds of interaction. Um, and have them to work seamlessly, because that's the most natural way of being. But the chances are one way or another you will be speaking to a device like this soon. Benjamin Cohen, Channel 4 News.